Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we will be connecting a device to Power BI using IoT Ensemble. The end result will look something like this page. We are going to start out logged into an IoT Ensemble dashboard. If this dashboard is new to you, I will leave a link in the description to an introduction video. In order to send data to Power BI, first we need data. You can see here, I already have a device hooked up bringing in data from a Raspberry Pi. But if you do not have a device connected, you can enable emulated devices up here. You can then see the emulated data coming into the device's telemetry table if you enable it. If we look at the table, you'll see data flowing in. I'd recommend having about 100 records before importing your data to Power BI. Once you have enough data from your emulated device or your connected device, we can scroll down to the storage access section. We then click the try it out button. We can then customize the fields we want in our query. If you're using an emulated device, you're going to want to set this flag to true. You can then narrow down your query even more by adding more fields such as start date, selected devices, and more. We then click execute and get our request URL. You will want to copy this request URL and then we will hop over into Power BI. Once in Power BI, we're going to want to click on the Get Data dropdown and then from the web. This will then open a pop-up where we click on the Advanced tab where we paste our request URL into the URL part section. We then need to go back to the IoT Ensemble dashboard to get our request header. If we scroll up to the top of the storage access section, we will see the API keys. We will need the primary key. So if we click the orange box on top here, that will copy it to our clipboard. Then back in Power BI, we will label our request header LCU subscription key. Then we paste that primary key in the field next to it. We then click OK and wait for the data to come in. This may take a while depending on how much data your query is getting, so I have sped this section up. Once Power BI has the data, it will open up this window where we can manipulate it. I like to convert the data to a table and then expand my columns out, selecting the fields that I want to use. For this example, I want the sensor readings and a timestamp. I can then expand the sensor readings out further into humidity and temperature. We then have to tell Power BI what format our data is in. I start out by duplicating our date time column and parsing one for date and one for time. I then add a data type of fixed decimal number to our humidity and temperature. Once this is done, you can click the Home tab up top and then click Close and Apply. We are now ready to add some charts to our page. Under Visualizations, you'll see all the possible charts you can add. I'm going to use the Area chart. And under Fields on the far right, you'll see our data that we imported. We can then add Time and Humidity to 1 to create our Humidity chart. I then click the paintbrush under the list of charts to customize my graph more. I add a label to the x-axis and a title. We can then add another chart, doing the exact same process, only using temperature instead of humidity. I also like to add a table under the graphs to get a better look at the data. This is only scratching the surface of what Power BI can do, but it should get you off to a good start. If you would like to see more cool projects or tutorials using IoT Ensemble, please visit iotensemble.com or visit the links below.